So, so I see now where we get 32 inputs here. Right. Where do the other uh, 16 inputs come from? Oh, excellent question. <laughs> uh, well, uh, besides the 32 that we see over here, notice over here on this on the right side of the console, mm -hmm. we've got four stereo returns. And yeah. again, they are super analog. They feed into our mix bus. So we've got 40. So that's our 40 right there. Now, so where does the other eight come from? Notice there's a lot of these little E's that are all over the console. They actually uh, stand for summing mm -hmm. in our case. So you'll notice that they're available to us on not only the uh, monitor section, but they're also available on the record bus and the mix bus. We've got two buses. So each of those buses has their own discrete inserts, but they also have the ability to sum the inserts. Really? So in the event that you are not using, let's say, the record bus, okay, okay, and you enable the record bus so that it feeds back into the mix bus, as well as enable the insert sum, that effectively provides you stereo insert return as a set of inputs, as well as the record bus itself as a set of additional inputs. You can plug something into the, That's right. into the mix bus and into the return. That's right. Wow. So there, that, that's an old trick from, from using SSL boards, but yes, it qualifies as an additional set of stereo inputs right there. And then the same with the mix box? And the same with the mix box, exactly. So uh, it's not, it doesn't come jump right out at you. Right. But when you actually read the manual, mm -hmm. and there's some amazing uh, tutorials in the manual, it teaches you all of this stuff. If you're an SSL user already, you know this, these things. Right. Uh, but if you're not, you're not going to pick them up right away. But